So in my community of currently being homeless or a traveler in indigency because my business works in the day to day because someone committed cyber crime and identity theft on my life which is a form of fraud. At the same time someone got a police to abuse me and really rip out my ACL so I don't walk quite as fine. But I can tell you that the little girl who's been sleeping over at the old Charlie's old space is a nuisance. Every single time I'm out and about, she is practically a half a yard behind. Now what I mean by that is a half a yard in a football field or is what I'm talking about, but she is definitely someone who is stalking my life. You don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to follow someone who doesn't really want you or need you in the life. It's one thing to be neighborly, but it's another thing to be scholarly. And what I mean is you have to know what the laws are. I may be neighborly with someone who is not immediately busy with the full stream of traffic by his business, but at the same time I might not say a thing at all to him out of regard for the fact that he's working in his business at that moment. But when we're talking about this ping game of every time I walk through the fucking city some little shitbag solicitor has gone in and thought they were funny trying to piss all over me so I can't make any money, I can't do my business, I can't negotiate for a job etc that's on your life who did that and every other life who came after you to help you with your abuse it is absolute abuse there is nothing ever thing that goes around it other than it's harassment it is stalking it's called mobbing technically and it's not a military action it's your foolishness of what you think belongs to you nothing in this world belongs to you if you didn't pay for it or didn't receive it as a present Anything else is the Lord's blessing on your life. And if you're not getting enough blessings in your life, then pray more to your God.